Welcome to this beautiful, beautiful Friday morning here in the Ozarks. For those of you that aren't in the Ozarks, I'm so sorry. It is nice and balmy and warm here. It's a, it's a great summer afternoon. <laughs> gonna be dead gum hot. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quite warm. It's already. If anybody's curious, I'm super sparkly because I wanted to match my pillow today. And I just got this and I'm very happy about it. And yeah, exactly. We were gonna be Art Deco together. In other news. Terry, if you're watching, this is for my cruise. I don't know if there will be a... Hey, Jeff, you should probably turn that off. I don't know if there'll be a spot for me to dance on the cruise. I'm assuming that there will be. That seems like a thing that you do on a cruise, but that's what I'm hoping for, and that's why I got the dress. It's super exciting. <laughs> but you don't have to turn it off, but that's fine. <laughs> he doesn't know how to phone. That's true. <laughs> Okay, I so... I just went to IT and had him take the lock off for me. <laughs> Let me help him out here. So, if you guys didn't watch the video from Wednesday, we started this magnificent creature of a pillow. Um, uh, we did this fun array thing here, and then Jeff got us started with this double loop lacing in two, two -toned. colors. Two-toned double loop lacing. And so today we are going to finish up the little bit left that Jeff has on this pillow. It did take him almost all day yesterday to get this thing laced up because uh, it's a 24 inch pillow. So, you know, I only got the biggest one that I could. That was all that I did. That was, that was, that was it. How much lace have you used so far on this? Just if anybody was curious. So this one was full. This one was full. This one we had used some. Man, so I don't not know. Not all that much. Those are 50 yards. Yeah, I was going to say, right this out. one isn't even kind of, this one isn't even probably, close to half it, it yeah. look like. Yeah, probably 20 so, yards. Yeah, but like once that. again, so maybe, maybe if you were doing one of these pillows in one color, you might use one whole 50 yards spool of lace yeah. or like two thirds or yeah. mm -hmm. three quarters, something like that. Yep. All righty. So we're going to finish this up and then we've got another couple projects here that Jeff will go over in a little bit more detail about going around corners. Um, with the two colors, um, getting started once again, and then also finishing up. So we'll go over that twice. We'll do a couple splicings. Um, we're going to do one right we're now. We're going to do one right now. Okay, so that's yep. where we're at. For those uh -huh. of you that weren't here before, this is what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Jeff, take it away. I will. Thank okay. you. Jeff, take mm -hmm. it away. <laughs> so in classes that I teach here, I've been doing lacing classes, and inevitably... Someone will keep lacing and end up with one inch and a needle and want me to splice for them. <laughs> so don't run yourself out of lace. How close do you like to get? How close do I like? You know, I usually splice when I've got four or five inches. Yeah, I'm wasting a little lace, but it's it makes easier, your life easier to do. Yes, it makes your life a lot easier. <laughs> so when you splice, normally... We're going. Hold on, I'm ready to move. Yeah, let's let's move the table up a little bit, cause. Oh, hi, Lims. That the top up over. All all you need to do is right there. We go. If you can right be there? right there, I yeah. will. I will love okay. it if you can be right there. Okay, I won't move. Okay. Tony. Cool. Normally, we go through both pieces of leather. When we splice, we're going to be adding in a separate piece. So we go through the top layer and come out in between. I snip it off. How much do you snip it off flush? Well, I please. don't do in the two tone. I do if I'm doing one color, and I'll, I'll show you why. So how how much tag did you leave there? Half inch? Yeah, half inch. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then now I'm going to take the new lace. So you're going go down in between, between. In between. Oops. Take, then we'll do that again. Take two. <laughs> So they were teasing me yesterday afternoon, asking me if I was going to go home and dream about two-tone double-loop lacing. I'm proud to say I didn't dream about it, but it was the first thing I thought of when I woke up this morning. <laughs> and, you know, I had to say a little prayer that it, it comes out okay. 
The ending of it, I've done several times, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I've yet to figure out why. I did bring my cheat sheet, and Denny or Liz will help me walk through it. Okay, so, normally, the next bite will lock these two in. That doesn't happen here because I'm switching lace. So that's why we leave a little extra. I'm going to lace over this and lock it in as I go along. Move those out of the way. Yesterday, splicing was really fun because of glue girl sitting here. <laughs> if you watched our first episode, she was bragging on... The, the I was worried actually because I was like, hmm, I chose to use this Rhenia because it sticks really, really well. Uh -huh. But then in the back of my mind, I have Kevin going, uh, now if you need to lace, don't get overzealous with your glue because then it's going to make your lacing harder. And sure enough, yep. Jeff didn't have a great time yesterday when he needed to splice. It took four tools for every splice. <laughs> I normally splice with just one. I normally just a fed will work. But it, we made it. And then I put basting tape on the last section, and that was a mistake because it didn't work. I'll tell you what, though. I'll give you a plug for that Rhenia cement. Yeah. I'd never used it before to speak of. Mm -hmm. But I was making a set of saddlebags yesterday afternoon. And I don't know if any of you have, have ever used it put a gusset in a set of saddlebags with a really tight corner. It's really hard to cement those where it holds yeah. so you can stitch it. That stuff holds like glue. <laughs> I mean, it really it helps does. that stuff. It though. does. No, that Rini is, is pretty phenomenal. I've been quite impressed. And the smell is a lot less. Like it's a it's a great product, guys. Well, to me that's that's not a plus. I know. We really <laughs> like our glue up in here. <laughs> And with this foo foo leather and all the sparklies, sometimes it's really hard to see the hole that's been punched. And you just got to fill it out. Oh my goodness. Got it. Everyone on Twitch is dancing with me in my glitter dress. <laughs> We're having a disco party. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Woo! I suppose. <laughs> the referee guy. It is a really cool dress. It's so fun. <laughs> so I'm starting to cover up those two pieces. And you're just kind of wiggling them in between the leathers. Yeah. Since, since you have room to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Your leather isn't glued up. That was probably the best slice you've done so far. Slice. slice, slice. Did I say slice? The easiest slice. The easiest slice. <laughs> That he spiced so far. Slice. <laughs> and binder clips really help out. And you, but you punched all of those slots while it was laying flat. Yes. Like everything was punched. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday when he, when he was, uh, speaking of your dress, yesterday when he was uh, doing this before the pillow part actually got stuffed in there. Uh-huh. And it was laying out flat. The the edges kind of curled up. It looked like a Mexican sombrero. sombrero. Oh. And I've seen sombreros that look just like <laughs> your dress. <laughs> That's fun. I think I saw that a little bit. It wasn't made like a little yeah. 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 curve. That was, was a delivery for you. Oh, Chris said that he dropped something off for me and then I forgot about it. Is that a pastry? Uh, yeah, it looks like a pastry. <sighs> I'm loved. Yeah, I didn't tell anybody that I was wearing this today. I, it was a, it was a, it was a surprise. Well, I told Chris. I was like, no. After you let him out of his garage room. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The only room that he's allowed in in the house because I own the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> I had an aunt that would not let kids in her house, and she had her garage fixed up, and we would have to stay out in the garage. <laughs> she didn't like kids. Kids familiar. tear stuff up. That's the deal. I had an aunt and uncle similar to that. 
Mm-hmm. We probably we all have, did. We didn't have to stay in the garage because I don't think they had one. So we <laughs> couldn't touch anything. <laughs> stay there with your hands in your pocket. <laughs> How's it going, Jeff? Well, I twisted my legs. Okay. And I fixed it. There we go. We untwisted it. Yeah. Okay. Happens. We'll just go back up here a little bit. I need a box to stand on. I have an extra mat. You want another mat? One engine. Yeah, I got a stool. No, I'm good. Nope. I'm good. You asked for one, Jeff. (laughs) Look, he's good. Hey, cool. Yeah. Lift you up on it like my dude. I do my daughter's, but <laughs> how's that? Um, we need you to the right about three inches. <laughs> okay, am I right? Uh, yes, a little bit right. more, but maybe, yeah, maybe now come, you can come to you a little bit if you need to. Yep, I'm good. Okay. Is that good for you? I will live with it. All right. Well, since you spliced, do you want me to keep going with that? And then you can start, you can show them how to start it on this whole fresh one? We're going to have to do another splice right here. Okay. In just a minute. Oh, right, because you you don't do them together. No. Did we talk about that yet? I don't remember. Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, if you do them both together, you got a great big lump. This spreads it out. And it looks a lot Let's steeper. scooch over just a couple inches. Scooch me over? Yeah, you have to move your stool. Yeah. Yeah. That should be good. Perfect. Perfect. That's where we want to be. Okay. Okay. I won't move you anymore unless you move yourself and I have to move you back. <laughs> I might get a nosebleed being up this high. <laughs> I was the next to tallest kid in fourth grade. The problem was he was a senior in high school. <laughs> no. No. Problem is, I didn't grow anymore. <laughs> that was it. That was the pinnacle of your height. That it took was me a minute. <laughs> uh huh. Everybody else grew. It's like the guy that got kicked out of third grade because he wouldn't shave. <laughs> What <laughs> talking about me? <laughs> Thought you were my buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do a splice. And you know, one of the important things to remember with the two tone lace, you got to think differently. Normal double loop lacing, you're thinking go through the hole, go through the bite. Well, because you're switching back and forth colors, you really need to be telling yourself, go through the bite, and then go through the hole. I need longer arms. So you went in between the two pieces there to slice on again? I did. From the top, and you came out in the center. Right. And then the next piece, you go from center, the center, and the come center. out through the bottom. Mm-hmm. The back, okay. yeah, or the bottom. Maybe, maybe a little bit over here. Okay. <laughs> he liked to. She was gonna move you again. <laughs> well, he he moved. I the said problem he... is bifocals. <laughs> bifocals and neck movement. My neck won't move that way. <laughs> Sorry. I need to get bifocals on the top of my glasses too. Tony, did you see bifocals? Yeah, I need them on the bottom and the top. Quad focals. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Quad. Sorry, it just registered with me. (laughs) Okay. Let me get this just a little further. And I'm going to turn it over to Sparkles. Guys, it was like a disco party in my car this morning (laughs) on the way into work. Because all the sun coming into the car, it was just... (laughs) It was a disco ball in my car. <laughs> Hanger from the ceiling and spin on it. I thought it was New York or New Year's Eve yeah. in New York City. The yeah. ball was dropping. dropping. 
It's pretty fabulous. <laughs> you know how hard I actually, it is? I got to blind Chris. He usually blinds me with a cell phone. Like the, the sun will hit his phone just right. And then I get like the glare in my face. But today I got to blind him on the way in. <laughs> All right. So. From those and tuck them in. Yep. And you'll find you've got to do a couple stitches before <clears throat> your lace is going to be to where it'll lock it in. Yeah, by yesterday afternoon, I was at that point and pulled it out. Not a problem. Excuse me. That I would make a mistake, so I'd snip my needle off, and, and then I'd forget to pull my mistake out. <laughs> and I'd put a needle back on and realize I have to snip the needle off. Because I didn't do what I was supposed to do. So you did a double snip? I did a double snip and I went for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> this coming Monday is the 4th of July. People in foreign countries, do you guys have any sort of a Independence Day celebration like we do? Let us know. What do you do? I don't do anything. Oh. I'm not celebratory. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm more of a sleeper. <laughs> then he puts his earplugs in and goes to bed about eight. <laughs> oh, poor Luna. She cannot handle the fireworks and she will run and hide in the closet under my clothes and if they get if they get too close and there's too many of them, poor thing, she just starts drooling and shaking. <laughs> You she know, there's a a lots of dogs like that, and uh, mm -hmm. I feel bad for all of them. Yeah. Snoopy used to pee on the floor every time one went off. I mean, Luna has her her tinkle problems, but I'm really grateful that that's not one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she just tinkles when she's happy to see you. Sometimes you just got to hunt for that. Hole on the back side. Mm -hmm. Okay, one more, and I'm turning it over to Sparkles. Mm -hmm. I'll try not to mess it up. Well, my experience is if you mess it up, it's okay because we got Denny here to figure out how to fix it. Yes. Denny here has never done this. So Denny here could fix the heck out of things. Yeah. I could tie big old knots in it here and there. Yeah. I just don't want to be remembered as, you know, Jeff, the one that botched the pillow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Liz. All right. Get my little stool out of the way. <laughs> I think you're starting on your next project, Jeff, while Liz finishes that. Yeah, so he's just going to go through and show you guys how to get this started again mm -hmm. if you missed it on Wednesday. Yeah. And then he'll show you. He's got this little thing, so we'll do corners. Um, I'm going to show you how to start and how to do a corner, and then we'll go over doing a splice on a different type of project mm -hmm. besides a pillow. Mm -hmm. Did he have anyone over here controlling this camera? You want me to? Yeah. I'll control the heck out of this. You can't tie knots with them. <laughs> you can drop them. So if you've never laced before, you need to get one of these, a fid. And I like having the little modeling tool with the hook. Um, especially for the ending. Because you got to reach in there and grab the lace and pull it out in between. Where'd you go, Jeff? Where'd I go? Okay. That's good. You need to put footprints on the floor as to exactly where I'm just standing. Handprints. Or yeah. We man. had an X marks a spot on the table, but then he dumped <laughs> die on it. <laughs> 
Hey, I'm just here as a whipping post, you guys. <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> all right. We always lead off with the lighter of the two laces. Okay. Any particular reason? That's what the book said. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I didn't ask. And you believe everything you read? Everything I read and everything I see on the internet, yes. YouTube is 100% factual. It's a good idea to have an all around because sometimes your lacing chisels don't poke all the way through. So. And once again, we use an eighth inch chisel because we're using eighth inch lace. Yes. So whatever lace that you're using, you use the same size chisel set. Now, if you were doing one color, you would take this tag in and you would fold it over. That way your second one makes a bite. Well, we're doing two colors, so we just leave that hanging loose. We're going to tear it all out later. Okay, so I skip and go to the third hole. The third hole, huh? Yep, I leave a hole for the other color. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm trying to learn something here because I haven't paid any attention to it up to now. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. <laughs> okay, what's your question? I don't have one. I'm oh, just, I'm just. You're watching. just repeating. Okay. <laughs> I'm just letting people know what the real deal is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I've got the darker of the two colors. I didn't do a very good job of chiseling. All right, so I go through the second hole. Leave that. I'm going to turn my needle over and I'm going to take that needle and I'm going to go underneath the lighter colored lace. Okay, there's no bite there yet, though. Not right? yet. Not yet. Get that out of the way. Your head is in the way. My head's in the way. Take your head out of the way, man. That help? <laughs> okay. So move that like that. Okay. That needs, got... needs to be your next project. A hat? Yeah. I made a hat like this once, and when I put it on, it was too small, and it would flip up like that. Oh, so. that'd, have, that'd be perfect. Mm -hmm. So, you could be a jockey that way. That's the way jockeys wear their hat. Uh huh. The bill flipped up. That would be called a flipper bill. Uh huh. That's a whopper truck. <laughs> <laughs> Got the flipper bill. So, go through the center. We, start, we started the darker lace over again, right? Yep. Flip our needle. Flip our needle, go under, now what are we doing going to the next hole? Now we go to the next hole, which isn't open. Give me just one second. Thanks, Katie. There we go. All right. So go to your next hole. Thank you. 
Still your head. There it goes in. Okay. All right. Now put your cat back the other way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, I'm staying on the axle that I drew. So now I have a bite. It's a funky looking bite that they are when you start out. That'll change real quickly. Trace it down. All right. I'm going to take my light lace. Go through the brown bite. Go through the brown bite. Like I said earlier, I have to retrain my brain to quit saying go through the hole, go through the bite, and start saying go through the bite, go through the hole. I do talk to myself quite often when I'm doing this. Okay, so you've just gone through the brown bite with the white lace, uh -huh. and now you're going through the next hole with the white lace. Correct. Correct. Uh -huh. You can make it through those holes. Yeah, and we're doing a corner. So on corners, <clears throat> we double lace. Do you waller it out a little bit? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, several times. That's another one of our words. You got to use. You got to use all the words. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's. We're gonna waller it out. Okay. And maybe cut your head off because we just. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Can, can you put your head somewhere out there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. So there I've got a more normal looking bite. There we go. How's it going, Liz? It's going it's going good. Tony's trying to get your two other cameras so that you don't have to worry about your head. Okay. So the we'll three see. corner holes you're going to go through Hang on just a second. twice. Okay. Hang on just a second. The one just before the corner and the corner and the one after the corner. Yes. Right? Okay. Uh -huh. That's a longer distance. And if you don't, plus, <clears throat> it keeps, you've got to do it to keep your two colors going. Yeah, but he moved too much. Yeah, that's true. It's hard to lace and not move. No, I know. Can you stop moving and lace more? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't last week really nice? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. <laughs> it was quiet. No one was harassing people. So, fearless leader Kevin, the owner, who's the world's most <clears throat> prolific lacer, I think, self-proclaimed king of it, uh, takes a rotary punch and punches out a big hole for the corners. I just waller it. Oh my gosh, Tony. I don't know. This Guys, sorry about all the YouTube shenanigans, like... Just what sorry. What happens when you're big time? Yeah. So just ignore. Just pretend like it's not there. <laughs> you're fine. Just keep going. I'm better off not knowing. Yeah, it. you're fine. Yeah. Okay. So I've got <clears throat> two pieces of lace going through that. I went through that bite, and you still on corners have to go through each bite. Now, I go to the next hole. Snug that down. Switch lace. That's not my stomach. That's Luna. <laughs> Where did Luna go? She's under the table. <laughs> In her spot. She's a little under the table. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. Somebody asked, um, should you make the corner holes bigger? That's what I'm attempting to do with the fed. So, uh, Jeff, when you punched them, it looks like you punched the corners first with an individual slot at an angle. 
I did. Sometimes Kevin will use a round hole punch also. Yeah. So you can do it either way. Jeff chose to use the chisel slice and then take his his awl and waller it out a little bit or like the, the modeling tool mm -hmm. to get that a larger one. But you can punch a small round hole in the corner to help you go through a few more times. That's, that's something, though, that people have to be pretty careful when they're doing. You don't want to get too excited about it because mm -hmm. I've, I've had calls from people that say hey i was lacing my wallet and i stretched that <laughs> corner hole out and it completely broke yeah what do i do now well you're how do i fix that uh, <laughs> oh. there it went we need the linda cam linda doesn't like cameras so yeah <laughs> he always runs away all right, so two, 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 I've got a bite. Don't pull your bites real tight. You no need, no tight you, bites. You need a rope on the back of my head. <laughs> you guys can't see it, but I'm just slowly nudging Jeff's just shoulder just every once in a while. <laughs> just stand up straight. <laughs> Look down through your bifocals at whatever very uncomfortable angle that you have to. <laughs> and do it this way. Stand on whichever foot you need to stand on. <laughs> How did I get talked into this? Because you wanted to come and have so much fun with us. That's true. The best shot is the overhead one whenever you can keep his head out of the way. It's, it's okay. We got it. We'll work on it. It's okay. It looks really good. You're doing a great job, Jeff. And it it does you. look great. Yeah. No, it looks really yeah. great. And if you can't follow, just get in your car and drive across the country and <laughs> Jeff, come see me. And I will give you an all day long personal lesson in the classroom <laughs> on double loop lacing. Speaking of coming to SLC, Denny. Oh, yeah. Jim Linnell. Mm -hmm. He's coming. We, I got a call this morning from a fella that was wondering. He, he sent an email. Wanting to, uh, I think his name was Kyle or something. Yeah, Kyle. Kyle, what, Thornton? Is that is? He sent you an email? No, he called me he on the telephone. The, oh, he called you? Yes, the automatic telephone, the talking machine. <laughs> <laughs> and I talked to him, uh -huh. and he said that he sent an email and, because he wants to sign up for Jim Linnell's class. Yeah. So, so everybody just. If you are interested in taking the Jim Linnell class, please hold on until the end of the day because there's going to be a flyer out. Okay, like live at Springfield Leather, or if you are have already submitted an email to live at Springfield Leather, just know that we have it yep. and we put it in a nice little folder until we are ready to do whatever it is that we're going to do with it. AK send you a flyer at the end of the day about the class. All right, now we're getting okay. around the corner. I've got. So how many times did you go through that corner, Jeff? Three, twice, twice, and twice. You're three. So you have two in the corner and then two on either side. No, one before the corner and one after the corner. That you go through mm -hmm. twice. Yep. So you have three holes three yep. that you yes. are going through twice. So six yep. to get around that corner. Uh -huh. Okay. So... You know, I've noticed when you do this two-color lace, it makes a, a bigger edge. Mm -hmm. That would be good on a, on a lot of projects where you want a nice, round, a bigger edge mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. just a regular flat to yeah. double loop. Sounds like somebody's playing basketball. <laughs> Stranger things have happened around here. Stranger, Stranger things. things. Does everybody have Kate Bush on repeat right now? The whole world does. <laughs> no, they're watching the last two episodes. Oh, I know. I'm so excited. Of what? Stranger Things. The ending is the released today. I haven't seen that. It's on Netflix. It's like a 80s show about monsters. Oh, really? By monsters, she means aliens. The aliens oh, that live in the upside have to down. Watch that. I watched it. What it's you, really cool. Did you watch a show about the Ozarks? Oh yeah, I've seen the Ozarks. Yeah, I've seen that. What's the the 
the town in New Mexico where the area Roswell. Was, Roswell. Been we there. watched that. That's what you're on right now. Uh-huh. No, oh. we've seen it twice actually. The first time we got tired of it before it actually got over. Yeah. You the also second watched the show time on the table rock dam, didn't you? The second no. You didn't? No. What? You haven't seen a show about the table rock dam? No. What's the name of this show? And it's at the visitor center, Table Rock Dam. Oh, that's the name of the show. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have to go to the Table Rock Dam to watch it? I don't know. I wonder if we can to find the it on YouTube. Center? We'll see if we can find it on YouTube oh. or call somebody on the talking device. On the talking device, yes. <laughs> <laughs> My late father-in-law worked for the Army Corps of Engineers, and Table Rock Dam was, when he got hired on, they were just starting it. But he didn't get to work on the dam. He worked on designing the campgrounds and pavilions and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But he got to go to the dam, and they got to go down in the tunnels down inside there and everything. And he said he would never do that again. <laughs> ha, that's neat. Claustrophobic. Dean says he watches Bonanza. I do too. And Perry Mason. I'm what? They don't air it on anything anymore. Sure they do. This, it's somewhere, I promise you. There are so many streaming services. I feel like everything is somewhere at this point. So I ditched cable and stuck one of those little flat antennas in my window, yeah. and I get 60-some channels, and wow. it doesn't cost me anything. So I turn the TV on and watch YouTube videos while I'm not paying for anything. All right, Jeff, do you want to show them how to splice on this other one? I'll keep going, and then you can show them how to get around another corner? Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, and then the pillow is done, ready for you to finish it. Just okay. Whenever you're ready. When we you can do that at the end when we're finishing things. <laughs> that way, if it doesn't work out, I'm under the table and out the door. <laughs> All right. So, uh, this is a little long, but this is a great place to splice. and Because you don't want to splice in a corner. No. Now that's no good. And you can't splice on a piece of... Your project that's only single oh, ply. Oh, yeah. yeah. So on here, you can't splice anywhere in here. Nope. So you have to splice either here or here. You can splice, but you're going to see the splice. Mm-hmm. This way, it's hidden. Okay. So, so what I want to do. Pay attention to your project. Is take my pay fit. Pay attention to your head. I need an eyeball on my chin the way you're making me stand. I'm done. <laughs> Don't do that. This, oh, Denny has to put only, up with it all the time. You've only just begun, Jeff. You have no idea. You're on the books now. <laughs> you're in the rotation. So, we need to send that to Sergey for my little lady's belt. Yeah. So, I went through the bite. Okay. Okay. I'm going to come to the next hole and only go halfway. And uh, what I do a lot of times is get a helper. Like a tool or a person? Like a tool. Okay, so that's a little okay. modeling tool. little modeling tool. Spread it apart a little. Don't twist your lace like I just did. Put it in there. Uh, Dean was wondering what kind of leather was used to make the pillow. Foo foo. So we, well, let, let us, Dean, we'll tell you right after Jeff gets done with this splice. Okay, so I'm in between the two pieces of leather. I'll snip it off again. I'm going to take up my other one. Molly said you could two-tone double-loop your casket. I know, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Take a that was your what? Your, your casket. Oh. There, was a, there was a whole... Co- yeah. 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 <laughs> pull that down. Leave her right like that. To leave her right, huh? Leave her right like that. That's right. <laughs> Those are good snips you got there, Jeff. Mm-hmm. 
All right. Keep your head back. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> Maybe Jeff will make more than Denny's two dollars an hour. Hey, Denny got a raise. He makes four dollars. Denny hour gets now. two. <laughs> <laughs> no, four now. <laughs> I started at three eighty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> they raised me up to four recently. Back in 1975. <laughs> now I'm getting all tangled up because I'm laughing and getting my head in the way. So I pick up the brown. Two tone lacing goes a whole lot slower. Because of the amount of time you're having to <coughs> trace your uh, lace down so you make sure it's not twisted. <laughs> and I'm just going to lace over these. So you just lace over those tag ends? No. I poke them down. I have laced over them. I did it a lot on that because of glue girl. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that after, like, I was like, this Rennie is not what we want to use here. Says. <laughs> Uh, so you know how women used to have to take etiquette classes and they would tie them to the chairs while they were eating so that they couldn't bend down while they ate? <laughs> that was a thing. How do you keep got, from getting stuff tough. in their lap? Yeah. Uh, they were super careful, but also napkins. Probably That's probably why we have napkins in our lap, <laughs> just in case. Because you yeah. don't put your shoulders down. <sighs> Soup. <laughs> So many things. Anyways. I never got tied to a chair. I can lean over my food and still get it in my lap. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got tied to a tree once. <laughs> okay. What, where did this come from, Jeff? <laughs> tied to a tree once. I never got tied to a chair, but got tied to oh, a tree okay. because my uncle thought we were going to fall in the creek. <laughs> Well, you're pretty close to that corner, so I think you should go around the corner there because I think I I don't have enough lace to go around this corner. Yeah. So okay, so you just keep going and you do your corner again. I let... Also, why they starved? Yes, Robin. Dean said we're actually a drama, not comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm we, picking on Jeff. We weren't allowed to eat. Raise. Liz goes on vacation and Clayton left. <laughs> This is drama. kind of dramatic, it's a isn't it? Little dramatic. A docudrama. <laughs> exactly. With leather craft. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Jeff figured it out how to keep his head out of the way. Extend his arms. Poor guy, this pillow was so big yesterday. He's like, I can barely <laughs> reach around the table and get to the pillow. Well, because of the center section here, mm -hmm. he couldn't hang it off the table like would have been comfortable because otherwise this would have been, he just would have been crushing the tooling in yeah, half. Yeah, I didn't want to. Because that's where it would have, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, it, poor, I just, I asked Jeff to do a really cumbersome project for me. <laughs> you know, it was, but <laughs> I really enjoyed it. It Good. was fun. And um, look how cool this pillow is. It is a cool pillow. I want this. Yeah. Is, this is going to be in my So house. I took it on a show and tell tour to all the staff, and I think there's some ladies that are, are going to wall around that hole first. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, We're to the corner. So once again, the three holes in the corner, guys, you're going to lace through twice. So mm -hmm. you want to make those a little bit bigger with your lace and fit. And Denny's absolutely right. Be careful with that corner one, especially on thinner leathers. You know, this is um, a water buffalo bend that I had split down. It's pretty stout. Yeah, and I did it because it's got a great pull up to it. Yeah, this is Jeff's favorite color of leather. What one is it? Water buffalo. Mm -hmm. 
Is this, Actually, is this my leather that favorite we carry? color of leather is cognac. Well, the pull-up, right? Yeah. Basically, the pull-up that you've got. Mm -hmm. Jeff, is this a leather that we stock? Yeah, they're out on the retail floor. They're about seven, eight ounce. But do you know what it is? It's gingerbread. Oh, the gingerbread buffalo. Buffalo. Okay. All right. Take my fit. Tony, you brought in a really nice. Move my head. Is that is that a stock leather or is that a? Liz didn't decide what she wanted me to tell tell me about. I I think it's going to be. It might just be a special purchase for a while, but we've got a bunch of it. Jeff does work at SLC. If you name the job, he's done it. Jeff, I introduced him as our professor of. Employee education. <laughs> I like it. Our profession. Yeah. That's better than the old guy that does classes. <laughs> oh, do we need to change that on your business card? I don't have business cards. Well, right I have one. Not yet. I have one getting ready to get printed up. Oh. With the I old guy. The title is old so guy that does classes. I had business cards out on retail, and when I started teaching classes, they just threw them away. <laughs> Like Jeff doesn't need those anymore. No, we don't need them. We can that. print you some more. It's okay. Uh, yesterday, I was out on the retail floor, and two different customers <clears throat> came up to me, and they had seen Wednesday's show. Um, it's the word is out, especially local people, and there's a following. And Richard, the first thing he said is, you look a lot taller on camera. <laughs> Maybe it's because we're sitting. <laughs> yeah. I took it as a compliment. You didn't tell him how good I was with camera work? <laughs> I put the stretch you said, it you, said, again. you said, I don't, I don't gain 10 pounds, I get taller. Yeah. <laughs> I looked at my driver's license not too long ago, and I thought, man, did you lie. <clears throat> I am not five foot six. <laughs> <laughs> you just realized how bad you lied to the government? Huh? Just kidding. I, I used, did, to, I I used to be, but gravity, it's a grave situation. Is it? Yeah. Two, 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 go on to the next hole. I almost forgot to waller it. Liz didn't have to tell me. Yes. I've got the back stitching and Liz has got the waller. <laughs> <laughs> and on the corners, let me back up. You don't want to pull your lace really, really tight. And especially on the corners, you can leave it a little loose. And that makes it easier to get this piece of lace in that bite because there's leather underneath. So I can stick the needle in there. I can reach over here and snug that bite up and then go on. Oh, we're, our frozen, just we're frozen in time. There it goes. You're good. You're not frozen. Yeah, I figured it's just our screens. Just doing something I'm, weird. I'm getting cold. <laughs> what? <laughs> we're never cold in this. Well, Nick is always cold in this room. <laughs> but th those of us over here are always pretty toasty. Poor. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. What? Please ignore YouTube comments. Again? Yeah, again. Like four or five. Just just keep lacing, don't worry. Oh my gosh, they just keep going. Are I think, say, I think are we've they been, saying mean things about us? No, they're These not. These normally happen on the after the screen chat. Yeah, we've got we've got some live I, well anyways, just please ignore that. Alright. So I'm around, and it's back to... And then you just keep going. 
Keep going. Okay. So that's how you do corners. Mm -hmm. And then showed you one how to start. important thing. Okay. I would go ahead and splice right now mm -hmm. because of the amount to where you've got to cover it up. If you wait to over here, you're going to have a hard time because you've only got one piece. And back to the pillow. Back to the yeah, pillow. So I hope I left it. you enough. I didn't. I kind of, I stopped a couple short. Okay. Okay. Let's give this a try. Okay, but we need you up here. There we go. <laughs> Back to the stool. <laughs> I have one at home. Uh, okay. All right. There we go. So let's let's show them where we left off. Okay. Like I said earlier, you know, starting out's fairly easy. Going along, once you get the hang of it's great. This ending can be a little bit tricky. So this one, I think, from what I saw, we're gonna have the same color next to each other is what it looks like. It might. Well, no, I'm tearing out. Oh, are? Yeah, I have to tear some out. Okay. And I won't know until I get tore out and look at the holes. But you know what? If you do it and you've got the same color of lace in one spot. Really, it's not the, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. That's why when I'm working on a project, like this field note journal, I started over here. On the back side. On the back side, I start there. <clears throat> you don't want to start right here on the front side, <clears throat> and when you tie it in together. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Don't do this. Don't do that. Yeah, we're we're very <laughs> demanding here in this room. We're super critical. This is all your fault, <laughs> chemo sabi. <laughs> Liz isn't going to be here. Will you do a video with me? The first one in seven and a half years. And then I came back. Yeah. You know, I miss bossing you around, Jeff. It's been such a long time since I've been able to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you just called me chemo sobby. Uh-huh. <laughs> I saw somewhere a while back, the Lone Ranger... Finally asked Tano, he said, what does a chemo sabi mean? Sabi mean? And he'd been calling him chemo sabi for years and mm -hmm. years. And Tano told him, and it wasn't very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that too. Yeah. All right. So All right. as Jeff tries, are you, you got it? Your head is in the way, but do you got it? I think so. We're going to give it a shot. Okay. Guys, for this pillow, um, going back to whoever asked the question, the back of the pillow is the Venetian upholstery leather in olive. That's the back of it. And then the front is the Love Heart Paisley suede. Mm -hmm. um, so go back. If you did not watch Wednesday's video, we do talk about both of those on mm -hmm. Wednesday. And then we show you how to do this fun little front thingy majigger. So what I'm doing is from the back side, getting this tag in and I pull it out. So you pulled your light one that you started with out. Exactly. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to take and carefully pull it to the front side. And there is a loop. That loop is the most important thing. Okay. So both of your tag ends that you started with are now coming out of the front uh -huh. side of your project. Right. Okay. And my loop. That. And I have found it's a good idea to make your loop a little bigger. Oh, you're just gonna hold so on to it. So you don't lose your loop. Okay. Yeah, you never want to lose your loop. Don't lose your loop. And my head may get in the way on this. It is. Okay. You turned your hat back around. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. So I'm taking this tool and I'm reaching in here and I'm attempting and I'm about to lose my loop. I got it back. Thank you. We may have to tear one more out. I've lost my loop.
The problem is we are back into the area that Glue Girl Whoopsies. helped us with. <laughs> back to all the tools that didn't fit the Jeff needed to get through all the glue. <laughs> that Rinia is good stuff, guys. Boy, it is. It is very good. Could you could you get it ready to pull that loop out, but then just leave it until you're actually there? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm attempting to okay. do. But I want to... Oh, I got to tell you guys, sitting on sequence isn't really very fun. <laughs> I'm going to stand up now. All right. Well, you have imprints. <laughs> Brand new tattoo. <laughs> All right. We got to It takes some digging. Yeah, just take your time with it. Be aware that you don't want your glue to be too gluey when you're yeah. lacing because mm -hmm. you have to get through the seam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like when I'm sewing up my knife sheath, I don't want any of my pieces to come apart, which is what made me so mad when I did my last knife sheath and I had that back layer was separating from my lining layer as I was attempting to sew. That was annoying and not great. This you want glue that you can wiggle through. <laughs> wiggle through your yeah, glue. you need you need wiggle through glue. Okay, you got a loop back. I have reality, a loop you back. You probably use rubber cement. Well, I was gonna say rubber cement, or what is the is it Neo Weld that stays tacky for a long time, or was I'm that ever sure. tack? I'm not sure. I've never used either of those. One of those kind of stays tacky for a while. Kevin would be able to tell me which one it is. Neil Weld. Is that I the think. one? Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm getting the dark loop back. Mm -hmm. Does it matter which loop you have? Well... <clears throat> In the past, I've needed a dark loop for the colors to come out. So that's what I'm attempting to do right now without tearing up the other one. There's that. Pull it to the front. Now, I need to go back here. Finish lacing up a couple. Just make another one. But since I did tore out one stitch, I'm, I'm making a stitch here. Correct, Brenda. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what we're, we have discovered, is that Rinia is not the best one for this project. It was great for the front. So, like, yeah. for me sticking mm -hmm. down the the twisted um, array sections, mm -hmm. the Rinia was exactly what I wanted. Yeah. I only had to apply it to the front side, mm -hmm. and then I could turn that piece over, hold it down on the Venetian, which is the finished side, so the slick side of the mm -hmm. leather, and it stayed. Yeah. It stayed the whole way that we, uh -huh. when we sewed it, and that was perfect. And on these, I use basting tape, mm -hmm. and it holds it to together enough that... All right, let's go back. I feel like you're a brain surgeon right now. Are you a lacing surgeon? I'm attempting not to have a catastrophe. Okay, so we have our loop secured. Uh-huh. Take my fid. You guys are like secret agents over there. <laughs> the loop is considered, oh my gosh, I'm just... Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> Holly. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing we can't hear you very well. 
Security. Oops, security. We've lost our security. Uh-oh. Um, if I had very small monkey hands, I'd help you. <laughs> I'm glad you don't have monkey hands. <laughs> he have large monkey hands? Large yeah, monkey hands. I have gorilla hands. <laughs> uh-uh. You got it? Oh, happy day. I think I got it. Okay. Now that you've got it, you can move your head. <laughs> <laughs> i got to get my glasses in place to where I can see, sister. Oh, I'm Jeff. dealing with glue. <laughs> Jeff is extra annoyed at me because I did the gluing, mm. and now I'm just harassing him about his <laughs> head placement. <laughs> David said he would have just grabbed a stapler and just finished it. <laughs> you got one? Yeah. <laughs> Why glue is better? Is it three o'clock yet? It's getting close. Well, because otherwise your two pieces would be moving. Like, if you didn't glue it together, or... You know, I guess yeah. you could, number one, it's going to make it harder for you to punch all of your holes if your pieces aren't mm-hmm. secured somehow. Um, but you just need to use a, a different glue. Not a better glue, because this glue is really good, but it's a different one that's better for this apple. Yeah, a more appropriate glue. Mm-hmm. What are you trying to do? I have to snag and pull those up. Pull okay, those laces got it. Out. In between. Oh, between you want them to come in between. Okay. Yep. So we're trying to get our tags up the middle. Yep. Between our two layers. Got it. That's what we're doing. And Without losing that loop. Yep. Do you want me? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Number one. Number one. You and the crowd little- roars. I was going to say, you want, me to, you want me to hold your loop? You're going to get your little monkey hands in <laughs> I have little monkey hands. I've heard of just stretching a dress like that. Um, I don't need that. I got it. That's good. Okay. Yeah. We'll just keep pulling Jeff's head out of the way. <laughs> I don't do well with blind lacing. Well, why didn't you tell me that in your job application? I, I don't <laughs> blind lace. <laughs> Jeff, it's been so long since I've had a chance to harass you this much. Yeah. I've really missed it. Uh Uh-huh. This takes me back to the only word you look at me and say, no. 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 (laughs) No. Once again, Jeff and computers are not like the best of friends. No. And so I was teaching him how to use our ancient program of like putting in orders on retail. And it was very much... Um, like an, it's just like an Excel spreadsheet is basically what it was that you would type in a number, you could hit tab and then you'd go to the next thing you type in the description. And it was this very long process. It's, it's a lot better now than it, than it used to be. And so I would just stand behind Jeff and watch him put in sales orders on retail or like, you know, like ring somebody up and he'd, he'd go to do something and I'd say, nope. And he'd stop and he'd think about it for a minute. Modify those lights, isn't it? <laughs> Go to do something else. And I'd say, nope. 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 Okay. We've got our tags in the middle. Tag in we the have, middle. We have gained access. <laughs> and we still have a loop. Okay. Trim to tag. Let's see how we end up. You all remember Jeff, the guy that botched the pillow. No, the pillow's great. It's not botched yet. yet. Not yet. It's not botched yet. (laughs) We couldn't tell if you messed it up or not. Oh, Liz got your hat turned back around. Yeah, I got it. People in the chat think you look cool like that. LL Cool J stands for LL Cool Jeff. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't Samuel L. Jackson wear his hat back a lot? Oh, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Samuel L. Jackson's a cool dude. He is cool. So my dad used to go dumpster diving. <laughs> and he went up when they had video stores and dumpster dived in the video store's um, trash thing. 
and dug movies out and took them home. And one of the movies had Samuel L. Jackson and Bruce Willis in it. Mm -hmm. It was one of the Die Harder movies. And there was a certain word that Samuel L. Jackson used every other sentence. Okay. And I walk in, and my dad's half deaf, (laughs) and he's sitting there with the TV blaring, and Samuel L. Jackson cussing up a storm, and I lost it. I thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> he'd look at me and he'd say, I can't believe anyone would talk that way. Don't tell your mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chad, Jeff has many hours lacing this pillow. <laughs> M- many. Probably total time, uh, not counting today, six, oh, seven bad. hours. Just in, just in lacing. Well, like I said, it's been a fun project. Well, what we need to do is have you do one more tomorrow. Oh, she's going to Now that you're couch. warmed up. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then you can time yourself after you're warmed up. Okay. And we'll, we'll use not such... Okay, this is the important part. Yep. Okay. And I am and trying just, to keep my head... Is that your last hole? Nope. Oh, you got one other hole? I'm getting close. Okay. Okay. All right. Talk us through it. Let's see. I think it may work out this time. Okay, so we've got one more hole. Our loop is still secure. All right. I am on pins and needles. Me? (laughs) I got off my pins and needles. Okay, but we need you to be a little bit farther back here. I'm sorry. Back here? Perfect. Okay, perfect. Yep. Now it's Liz's fault if it messes up because she moved you from... Yeah, from your comfortable position. There's so. Hey, Jeff also does not like this leather. So, we're going to end... Right here. <laughs> this is where Thanks for it's going to end today. here one way or another. <laughs> Well, I'm having trouble there. Now, I'm going to take this brown lace, the dark lace. You came up through the middle. Come up through the middle. I've got a bite here. Okay. All right. And, and, and we're done. We're going to trim it off. Snip it off. Hopefully that's good. All right. So, I'm going to take these. And stuff them back down there. Uh got too much. Or, or clip them off a little. Clip them off a little. Dean, we don't need to sell them. Um, We're just going to, we just make them. All right. So. If you ask Jeff how much this project costs, he would. Like $3. You would need to know a banker pretty well. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. I come up. All right. I come up from the backside on that loop. Okay. I go over here. I got a bite. I go through that bite. I don't snug it up super tight. I'm going to take that loop and turn it. Come down in front of that other piece. Come down in front of that other piece. My buddy Denny taught me how to do this. I sh- what a good guy. I will be eternal fully grateful. Eternal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a word somewhere. All right. The colors came out. Sounds like a garden vegetable. Uh-huh. Eternal. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this. Have you got one hole left there in the front? No, you don't. I don't. So it didn't come out exactly right because I lost that, but I'm going to do the best I can. It's going to end right here, one way or the other. One way or the other. So we're going back through the same that we've already laced through. Right. And then I'm going to come out and snip it off and turn it upside down so no one will see it. Now, if you had one more hole, what would be different? It would. What would be different? Yeah. Uh, you just go on that last hole. 
Yep. And, and clip it off in the back the same way? Yep. And you come up through the middle? Yeah, I'm going to be coming up through the middle once I get it in there. I'm going to get a helper. One of my many, many tools. Yes, Daddy. Okay. Bleed on Liz's pillow. Don't bleed on the glitter. Yeah, I'd be sad. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be the first project that we got to the end and then bled on it. That is true. Blood on that Herman Oak heritage, but you know what? That stuff is pretty darn waterproof, and it wiped right off. <laughs> <laughs> who bled? A, who bled on the heritage? I, oh, I did. Oh. I sure did. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why we have an EMT on site at all times now, you guys. Yeah. Broke our string of days of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Last little bit. So you went through that hole up, and now you're coming out between everything. Uh-huh. Coming out the top. We got our pliers. Got our pliers. i take my little snips. Whoop. Just got your tag in. It's done. Hey. There's one last thing you got to do to it. Oh, are you going to hammer it out? Fill up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and they hit me with my project. <laughs> so would you would you seat those laces with a with a hammer now, or do we do that on this? You can you can mm -hmm. grab. There's a granite slab over there if you'd like it. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, this pillow, even if you did just did this pillow and you did it, you know, and you sewed it up like regular sewing, so it's not a $500 pillow anymore. It's just a $200 pillow. Rotate. This will smooth a lot of those wrinkles like that out, yep. too. Setting on it. Cool. This is not a sit on it kind of pillow. This is a you put it on your couch and it looks pretty, and before you sit on your couch, you put it in a safe spot. This is a pillow that you keep and say children are not allowed in my yes, house. Yes, this is not a. <laughs> Luna, you're going to eat this one? You know, she's really good. She doesn't eat my stuff. Miko, he likes to eat my pillows. Oh. He likes to lay on them, and then he gets bored and he starts chewing off an edge, and then he discovers the stuffing inside, and then he decides he needs to pull all that out. Then it's history from then. Yeah. I think that the little parts that are kind of puckered, puckered up are empty. okay. Yeah. yeah. And it's normal for stuff I do for it to not come out. <laughs> exactly perfect. That's normal. I accept that. <laughs> That's good. You'll live longer that way. Yeah. <laughs> but I am going to figure out how to make a sombrero since this looked like a sombrero until we stuffed it. That would be fun. Okay, that'll be when When will we have that on video? Uh, probably sometime. 2014. <laughs> September, October. 2014, we missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. next week. Spencer's uh, making a whip. We're going to do more lacing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Spencer will be here making a, um, a kangaroo lace whip. Cool. Oh, you show that off. Well, that you know. is a great pillow, you guys. Team effort. Look at this. That's from one angle. Let's see it a little further away. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. All right. Look at that. And let's see it from even further away. Okay. <laughs> it's just the back. This is a great pillow. It is. Yeah. So make your own versions. Have some fun with it. Do some fun stuff. I can't wait till I finish my purse that I did the the blue and white one that I showed yeah. on Wednesday with the fun center. Um, have some fun with it. Do some double loop lacing in two colors. Maybe a smaller project. You know, like a field note journal or a card wallet. Whatever you want to do out there. Y'all, you guys don't have to make $500 pillows. It's fine. <laughs> so.
So everybody's ragging on me for my expensive pillow. <laughs> Bunch of dress costs. This was super cheap. Okay. <laughs> like Amazon. <laughs> Everything's cheap it's on paper, Amazon. right? Yeah, yeah. It's just paper. Alrighty, folks. Paper. We hope everybody has a great weekend. Everybody stay safe. Please don't light yourselves on fire while you light everything else on fire. If you do, entertain people while you do it. Yeah, yeah. at least record it so we can yeah. all see your silly mistakes. Yeah, run through the neighborhood. <laughs> yeah. Just, but then remember to stop, drop, and roll. Yeah. So... <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. We will be back next week. Spencer will be here making a um, kangaroo lace whip. Um, he'll be braiding that for us next week. So on Wednesday and Friday, we'll have that. And then we'll have live shopping, as always, on Facebook at 2 p.m. Maybe. Central Time on Thursday. So have a great weekend, and we'll see Bye, you next you week, guys. guys. Bye. See ya.